Uh, and I'm going to try and give you guys a few tips today as well. Things that uh, relate to the bowling game and how to play it, but also you can hopefully use that information in the real world. So as I'm playing the game, we're going to uh, you know, watch some of the moves that I'm making, uh, some of the ball selections that I do, uh, or perhaps even just answering your questions in the chat boxes. And from there, I'll be able to give you guys some pretty good, uh, well, I hope it's pretty good information about how to better yourselves. So, like I said, let's start playing people from all over the world. We'll play some one-on-one. -on -one. And just like with Bob Bob, we'll start on something a little easier. We'll go with, say, something like Stonehenge. And I've got Braden Short. Good luck, Braden. I wish you the best, mate. Now, I was, um, I was criticised in the chat earlier today about being terrible at trash talking. So I'm going to up my trash talking game. So, Brayden, I apologise because you are the uh, first player that's going to feel the wrath of my trash talking. And we're just going to ignore the fact that I missed the 9 pin. I'm not even going to establish that. I'm not even going to talk about that. But basically, I know that Braden on level 5 is going to suck at this game. He's not going to have the chance uh, you know, to bowl a big one. So I feel very confident in giving him a head start, leaving the 9 pin out there. And just as I suggest, just as I assume, Braden uh, using a swirly ball uh, gets 8. So this match should be over pretty quickly, I would think. Using my pitch black gone a little high, but that's okay. So you're probably wondering why I'm using the pitch black. That's a good question. I actually don't know why I'm using it either. Um, urethane bowling balls, though, tend to be the most controlled bowling ball uh, that we can throw. It really does limit the back-end reaction. So typically, if you have enough oil in the fronts and you don't get forced too far left, urethane is a really good option to throw if you're looking for control. Obviously, if the pattern is really high scoring, um, not that urethane can't give you the big games, but typically as a block goes on, the more urethane you see down the lane, the more movement with your feet and eyes that you have to use with urethane, then your reaction tends to go away. You leave a lot more corner pins, flat tens, uh, you know, weak sevens, and then that's going to change your pin carry, it's going to change your score, which means you're going to get lapped by the field. So it's usually just like a bailout option if you have nothing else, or if no one else is using urethane and playing that part of the lane, then you're good to go. So I'm using the urethane here because, what, well, yeah, Braden, 17 after two frames, clearly isn't going to make a, a mark anytime soon. So I'm playing the controlled game here, taking my... Uh, I guess, what is it, the, uh, I'm playing some, uh, percentages here. I feel like, you know, we're going to see five open frames from Braden. And, uh, yeah. Yeah, so Braden's using this swirly red ball, uh, and he can't believe it. He says, wow. Well, Braden, that's one of the uh, first bowling balls that you can get in the game. So its power rating is going to be extremely low, and you're throwing the ball pretty slow. But that's only because you're on level 5. So after a period of time of playing, you get your level up into the teens, you know, anywhere from 13 to 19, you're going to see your ball speed go up, and you'll be able to use a lot stronger bowling balls. That was a terrible shot, but it doesn't matter, because I'm wiping the floor with Braden. Should be a spare. Oh, come on. That doesn't matter. All right, so Jake Young asks, what's the game called? Mate, it's called Bowling by Jason Belmonte. You can search for it in the uh, App Store, Google Play Store, and uh, get straight into it. I think Braden's getting a little frustrated. Oh, Pocket 710. Hey, Braden, if you, if you spare it, which you didn't, but if you had have spared it, I, I would have given you like a million gold coins. I would have added a million gold coins into your account, but you missed, so too bad. So I'm going to try another ball here just because, well, you know, I can. Trust the old face too. 
It's a little high. So that ball's overreacted. Which isn't really great for what I'm playing on. So I can try another ball on IQ Tour. And I think this one might be a little better. Much better. The IQ Tour, uh, not nearly as aggressive on the back end uh, as a phase two. So it's going to be a little bit more smoother off the break point, which as you can see, as the ball rolls down the lane, it doesn't want to overreact. Looked really good. I'm uh, reading a few of your com comments here. Uh, Ann Mayo says, when will we get the new update with tournaments? We are working as fast as we can. Thank you, Braden. By the way, Braden Short, level five loser. 